Okay, so I've got a question here that uh, we're going to look through. It's a triangular distribution question, and we're going to look through why and how we do it. All right, so it starts off, John and Helen are in a fish and chip shop. They normally don't have any customers before 5 o'clock or after 9. Their busiest time is at 7.30. If a customer is selected at random, what is the probability they arrive between 6 and 7? All right, so we've got a few things that we've got to look at here. Uh, first of all, we don't have enough information to know what the best distribution model is. It might be that it's normally distributed, or it might be that there's some crazy distribution. Um, we just don't know. So what we have to do, instead of doing some sort of crazy distribution model, uh, what, what we've got to do is just take the best estimate that we have. And because we have a minimum, a maximum, and a mode, we can use a, a triangular. And it's probably quite sensible, as triangular. Triangular tends to get used quite often in business situations. So let's look at this. We can, we can draw out a rough graph of what we've got here. Right. We know we have at 5 o'clock and 9 o'clock. And then we know that at 7.30, which is probably just past halfway, let's move that up a little bit so we can see it a bit easier, we have our peak. So that's our probability density function. Now, the problem with that is time is really nasty to use. So instead of doing it in hours and in the normal time, what we're going to do is we're going to do it minutes after 5 o'clock. Right? That's going to make us a whole lot easier. So let's move that down. So we're going to redraw this graph. that being zero. Right, and then we look at, well, we've got two and a half hours, which is 150 minutes. And then we've got four hours, which is 240. Right, that's going to make things a whole lot easier. So our A equals zero, our B equals 240, and our C equals 150. Okay. So there are two ways of solving this problem. All right, the thing that we want to know is we want to know between, just looking back up here, we, we want to know between, the question said between 6 and 7. Okay. So I put that in into context, that's between 60 and 120. Okay. So the there's the traditional way of solving this, which would be to use the, the formula. Uh, and so the probably just density formula. And we're going to go through that one first. Then I will go back and we'll do it another way, where we look at it, instead of using the formula, instead what we'll do is we'll look at it using similar triangles. And we'll both get to the same answer and we'll see how it works using both methods. Okay. First of all, we've got the formula. Now these are both on the left side. So therefore they're both when a is, x is between a and c. So we're going to find, first of all, for 60, then for 120. So we first of all, what we need to do is we need to put our, our numbers into the formula. Right. So we, we only care about this, uh, about this part of the formula. Right. This is the bit that we care about, because both of our x's are in this range. All right. So let's start off with the formula. We're going to break it down. So we've got 2x minus 0, so it's 2x over, well, b minus a is 240, times c minus a is 150. Right. Now that's going to obviously make things a whole lot easier, right, because uh, getting, rid of the, getting rid of half of the problem makes it a much easier problem. Right. So we've, we're going to go 240 times 150. Right, and then we've got we've got to also get rid of the two here. So, f of x is x divided by eighteen thousand. Why is that useful? Well, that's actually really really useful because it means that then we want to find f of twenty, f of one twenty, and f of sixty. 
So that equals 120 over 18000 equals 60 over 18000. Right, and that's going to simplify really nicely. So we divide both by 10, then we divide both by 6, which gives us 2 over 300, or 1 over 150. Right, and then obviously the next one's half of that, so that's 1 over 300. Alright, so we've got our heights. Now we need to find the area. And the basic way we do it is find the area of the big triangle minus the area of the little triangle. Let's try and make that line a bit straighter. Right, so we've got 60. 120, and we know this height here is 1 over 150, and this height here is 1 over 300. And so we know the, part, the formula for the, the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2, so therefore we have area big equals 1 20 divided by 300 the area small equals oh, 60 divided by 300 but then it's got to be half of that so it's 30 divided by 300 Right. And so the difference between them is big on one small, 90 over 300. Right. We divide them both by well, 10, which is 9 over 30. Divide them both by 3, which is 3 over 10. So, the answer, remember that the area is the probability. So, probability of a randomly selected customer coming between 6 and 7 is 0 0.3. And there's our answer to the question. Right, now we're going to have a look at another way of doing the same problem. Okay, for doing this by similar triangles, the first thing we need to figure out is actually what's the area of the half of the triangle that we care about. So we've got just this triangle here, right? And the area of that is the proportion of this that it is. So in this case, it's 150 divided by 240 because we have the distance between these two points divided by the distance between these two. So... Eighths. That means that our area for this part of the triangle here is 5 eighths. Now that's really important because what we're going to do next is we're going to then break that, that down. Um, now the proportion of the triangle, so now we're looking at just this triangle here and we know that this area here right, well first of all we know that 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 this is a similar triangle to this one here. So that means that the area is going to be the proportion squared. So this is 12 over 15. So the big, 
or we should maybe maybe I will I'll label them a little bit better. Let's get out a green pen. We'll call this triangle A. Area A. Well, it's 120 over 150 squared because it's that height and the width times 5 eighths. Uh, and so we can bang that in our calculator. So it's a pretty easy calculation to do, actually. It comes out to two fifths. Right. Alright, now we'll look at area B, which we'll get a purple pen for, and we'll call it this area here, area B. Area B is going to be, well this one is going to be 60 out of 150 squared times 5 eighths. Right. And even though that's half, it's actually only a quarter, so that ends up being one tenth because we square it. Right. So our actual area... Let's do it. Let's go back. The area is going to be two fifths minus one tenth, which equals three tenths or 0 0.3. So that leads us to the same thing. The probability of a randomly Click the customer arriving between six o'clock and seven o'clock is zero point three. So two solutions to the same problem, both using similar methods but not exactly the same, and both coming out with the same answer, which is what we wanted. Hopefully this helps with triangular distribution.